Hey, check this out, man. I've got the thing done. It's completed. So I did this paint job, which is pretty wild, on a Parma shell. And then I thought, how am I going to mount this chassis up to it in a way that uh, doesn't get dirt slung up all over the back of the windows on the inside and all that crap. And also makes it strong so that it you know, supports the load of it and doesn't split it and crack it or break it when you flip it. And uh, so here, let me show you what I did. I, I took a piece of expanded uh, PVC. It's a quarter inch thick, but it's very lightweight. It's weird. It's stiff, but it's kind of foamy. It's very soft in some ways, but in other ways it's kind of hard. And it's light, so it seemed like a nice thing to, to use for the material. So I, sh I, I, I shaped it to the back and to the sides, and I rounded the edge to flow into the body so it would sit on it. Okay. And then I uh, put, uh, these are made of uh, vinyl. These are extruded vinyl um, angles. They were actually C-channels, I cut them into angles. And they've been riveted and shoe gooed to the uh, PVC back bl block off plate. And then I uh, took a couple of threaded inserts and I put them into the PVC so I could use thumb screws. I didn't have any thumb screws, so I made some thumb screws. I had some thumb uh, thumb nuts <laughs> and some lock nuts and some screws, and I made my own. Um, so to take it off, it just lifts out. Now the downside is is that because I have this brace here for the plate chassis, I had to cut a hole in it. Otherwise, it could have been completely flat. This is a 18650 battery. I just put a 3-pin Molex on it. I've got lights in the front, which I think are pretty cool. If you look at them, you'll see it's an LED on a little star heat sink. Okay, those are 3-watt LEDs, 230 lumens each at 3.7 volts. And then I took some dropper bottles, some white plastic dropper bottles like I use for uh, all sorts of things. I've got zillions of these things. Anyway, cut those down, made buckets for them, threaded wire through them, filled them with epoxy, dropped the modules in it, it's completely waterproof, stabilized. Okay, I've got my wire fished underneath my plate here, and I wanted to have the shell lit without any need for the, you know, lipo to be involved. You can see that's really ridiculously bright. That's pretty cool too. And I've tried to make all the wiring as sanitary and out of the way as possible. So you can see, got everything tacked down with hot glue blobs. Um, and then if I want to get inside the shell for whatever reason, to clean it, like let's say it gets filled with water and mud or whatever, leaves, a mouse starts living in there, whatever. This just comes right out, and I can put stuff on here, put a couple nitrous bottles or whatever. Those are the threaded inserts I was talking about. Here's the rivets, right? You can see it's rounded to fit the edge of the shell, and it's got a little rounded arch in the back. And on the actual shell, I put the uh, same material, I heat formed it, bent it, and then I put a bevel in it that goes this way and this way so it would match the floor. And then to put it back in, all I do is, is, is uh, God willing, keep the Velcro out of the picture for a minute, get it to drop all the way down, and just, that's it. Just press the Velcro to the sides, it's back together. I want to put the RC back in it. Make sure my power plug isn't going to get in my way. And then I, you just line up, this is a bent Lexan, uh, like a T, H, <laughs> pi sign, and uh, I've got a Velcro patch here in the front. So you just line it up with the Velcro patch, and it drops right down, and then you put your thumb screws back in, and away you go. So I think it's pretty, it's pretty cool how easy it is to get at it. 
but the the battery compartment the top of the battery compartment is completely sealed now by that um, everything's sealed so very little crap is going to be able to get right inside and mess anything up except you know obviously through these areas but really the tires are slinging all the stuff out in the edges and that's pretty tidy that'll be easy to maintain so there you have it I thought that was pretty cool cool shell cool lighting and kind of a unique way of uh, getting the whole thing to mount up thanks for watching guys thanks for supporting Mountain Storm with your views likes comments and subscriptions and if anybody wants anything ultra custom done for their RC or for anything else get with me rw underscore k-e-e-t-o-n at yahoo.com